yeah slightly out of sequence but this is the part two of my nanotube ten lube uh, from Mokoff. So if we do a close up shot here of the, uh, it's focusing on the background, not the chain, there we go. Uh, that's the chain after 24.3 miles. Um, uh, it was a dusty trail. Uh, it's beginning to dry out. Uh, the, the, the bits that are exposed to the sun are dry and dusty and the bits that are in the shade are damp. Uh, it's not transferred a lot of dirt or oil to the cassette. Uh, as you see, it's quite clean. Um, but yeah, I've, I've, uh, I've had this chain on for two years and uh, I'm going to now uh, measure it and we'll see the results in a minute. All right, here we go. This is my trusty chain checker. Now, if I can get it in there. Right, the chain checker's in, and I shall tighten it up. Not too tight. Right. As you can see, I've, I'm just over the 50% mark. Sorry, the 0.05% mark. Now, the chain is the cheapest part of the of the group set. So it's easier to change this, uh, cheaper to change that. So I'll just double check it again. I'll just try another section of the chain. Put the put the chain checker in. Okay, different section of chain. So I can focus. Yeah. I'm about 0.5% stretch. Now I'm going to change this. Change the chain. 